All right, as you can see now, <clears throat> I've gone ahead and sanded that area that was affected that I applied the uh, epoxy to yesterday, and uh, it's come out pretty good. Um, there's still uh, a few low spots that I'm gonna have to hit back up again uh, with some epoxy here. Fill in some of the deep gouges right along right in here. But um, other than that, I'm, I'm, really, uh, I'm really pleased with it because it just really flows now. It really does, right on in through to the stem from the transom along the chine. I am very, very pleased with it. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna go mix up some epoxy, uh, which you guys don't need to see because you saw me do that yesterday. And then we're gonna move up to the, to the keel and uh, we're gonna go over uh, the keel prep that I'm going to uh, do and I'll even talk to you about a uh, mistake I made that uh, I now have to fix. So um, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you then. Morning, shipmates. Well, you can see the uh, epoxy is set up pretty good. It's pretty, uh, pretty tough. And that's kind of what we want. Um, and obviously the, the line or that bead that I'm trying to get to run all the way along the chine um, is still not 100% perfect, but that's where the sanding's gonna come in. So we're going to sand down today a little bit of this this rough stuff so it basically rolls right into the hull and it fares right into the hull and that line is pretty uh pretty pronounced and 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 identifiable and and follows if it uh and once again and if it doesn't um with this round of epoxy in then we'll just do it again uh that's kind of the monotony of doing this uh fairing down on the hull so uh, we're gonna get to work here. I'm gonna bust out my sanders and uh, we'll uh, we'll start getting to her Well, I don't know how well you can see it from here, but we uh, went ahead and applied that uh, Last little bit of uh, epoxy on the forward part of the starboard bow Looks uh, looks like it'll do the trick um, as far as the Mistake I was telling you guys about when I was putting the outer keel on which is this piece Right here. This is the outer keel um, I got a little epoxy happy because like anything else, um, I figure if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So some of it is kind of just gooped and, and now is making uh, a little bit of an eyesore and a, uh, a bit of a, uh, a hazard for when I go to lay more epoxy down the, uh, down this track here to kind of help seal in the outer keel to the hull so it kind of more or less rolls into the hull um so that's going to be that that's going to be a bit of a challenge getting some of this gooped up epoxy like i have here sanded down fared down uh so it'll accept uh the fairing epoxy uh fairly well um don't get me wrong it can be done it just takes a lot of sanding but that's kind of where we stand right now. Back here, I've been working a little bit since I got up here, obviously. And this is kind of what I'm going for. See how that's pretty clean? If you can or can't. Relatively anyway, it's certainly not as gooped up as it is up there. And that's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to continue to press on with that, and hopefully uh, it'll uh, fare out relatively nicely. Well, all right, you can see now after I'm done with that uh, with that sanding of the grooves that they're pretty flat and uniform and ready to accept that epoxy that I'm going to kind of create a seam with along the hull and the keel. Uh, just further waterproofing and just to kind of make her a little tough and uh, if nothing else uh, it'll be I think um, a little sturdier too uh, if you were to like hit something and chances since this is the skag you can almost guarantee it's gonna hit something um, it's just a matter of time really but all along oh it did such good work I figured I'd have a beer all along the keel.
is sanded and fared and like I said ready to accept some epoxy so what we're going to do now we're going to mix up some epoxy and uh, I'm going to start back here and the reason I'm going to start back here and move forward is because up there I have a wet area from earlier this morning that hasn't dried yet so I don't really want to mess with that uh, while I'm trying to uh, uh, go ahead and bed this keel down with epoxy so that's where we stand and I will uh, catch you guys up uh, in a little while well I uh, as you can see I've gone ahead and uh, applied some of that talc based epoxy along the seam right down the uh, right down the keel on this side not all the way obviously I was getting hot and uh, yeah I figured I could finish it up maybe later um, but what I did do too was see how it would fare out on the bow see how that the uh, the all right um, now you can see the bow a little bit better or at all and did a lot the same thing where I put a lot of that uh, top based epoxy right in that seam up there between the keel and the hull and I'm gonna sand that out when it uh, when it finishes drying hopefully giving me a nice seam uh, and also helping uh, waterproof a little bit but that's kinda where we are right now and I think this will probably about do me for today so I will catch you next time